There's lots of chances in London to see fireworks, especially on the river. Yeah, the Thames Festival and New Year's Eve, there's yeah, lots, of, lots of opportunities. Fireworks are quite entertaining, actually. There's normally a lot of people around, a lot of excitement. It's really thrilling, like the colours and everything, and it's nice to share it with people, you know, it's for a special occasion, and stuff like that. And you see, like, sparkles, and sometimes you see this smoke. You see very high levels of air pollution coming from these celebratory events like Guy Fox Night and Diwali, but the smoke is particles that are being released. Each year, Guy Fawkes Night presents us with some really challenging air pollution. Generally in the evenings, people are setting fire to fireworks and bonfires, and this involves a lot of what we can obviously see as smoke, and these are really quite harmful in terms of the concentrations of fine particles fireworks displays not only produce source of pollution but the nature of the pollution which they produce is not very good for us. Fireworks contain lots of metals that go into making all the coloured effects that we love so much in firework displays but these can be really quite toxic. And we know that many of these exotic metals can cause problems for our lung cells as well. There will be a short-term response to the extra pollution which is in the air, but over a decade or so those could build up into chronic health effects. Many people delay their fireworks night celebrations or even roll forward their parties from Halloween and have them all at the same time, generally on the closest Saturday to Guy Fawkes night. If that is a still evening, then concentrations of airborne particles can become really very high indeed. It's all down to exposure, so it's how much of the extra pollution you're taking in. If you are having a back garden event, you have just a few dozen fireworks, then your exposure will probably be quite minimal. The issue with the large-scale public displays are that there are many hundreds of thousands of fireworks being released in a very short period of time, and there is a plume of air pollution generated as a consequence. As we want to reduce air pollution, we also want to celebrate these events and we celebrate these events with bonfires and fireworks and we like to watch them. So it's all about responsibility in where they're being lit. We won't be lighting a bonfire and then stand in the direction of the wind so we're exposed to all the particles coming off of it. Or we won't light a firework in our hand where we can then be exposed to all its emissions as well. So it's having a balance of safe viewing distance that would reduce our exposure.